Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus channel. Drones are quiet, so soldiers do not always know they are there. To make matters worse, these silent killers can launch precision-guided munitions, which is quite a scary proposition. Have you ever wondered how they are built? Well, let's look together, shall we? UAVs were first attempted in 1849 during the Austro-Italian conflict. Austria bombed Venice with unmanned balloons. Drones, also known as unmanned aerial vehicles, have an interesting history that stems from military ingenuity. Most drones have been around since the early 1900s, but their usage in military operations really took off in the 1990s. Global Hawk is a sophisticated U.S. Air Force surveillance aircraft, first flown in 1998. Northrop Grumman developed it for persistent surveillance operations, utilizing high altitude, long endurance, and all-weather capabilities. On April 19, 1998, the Block 20 took its first long flight from USAF Plant 42 in Palmdale to Edwards Air Force Base. Northrop Grumman Corporation manufactures Global Hawks in Palmdale, California, utilizing cutting-edge aerospace engineering and assembly techniques. One of these aircraft can take up to 24 months to produce. The RQ-4 provides a broad overview and systematic surveillance over target areas by employing high-resolution synthetic aperture radar and electro-optical infrared sensors with long loiter periods. It provides intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. This platform is not armed, but its successor would be. The camera on the Global Hawk can identify things on the ground as small as 12 inches in diameter, and that's from 66,000 feet in the air. This ability is incredibly useful if one considers that with its 14,200-mile range and 32-hour endurance, it sees something as small as an open laptop screen almost anywhere in the world. Northrop Grumman's RQ-4 Global Hawk relies on two different pilots, the Launch and Recovery Pilot and the Mission Pilot. The Launch and Recovery Pilot controls the aircraft during takeoff and landing from a position near the unmanned aircraft space. Tasks include careful pre-flight system checks, as well as weather and mission conditions assessments. Following launch, command responsibility is easily transferred to the mission pilot, who is normally stationed in a base thousands of miles away from the drone for its long endurance mission phase. The mission pilot's responsibilities include monitoring the RQ-4, assessing real-time data fed by its better sensory capabilities, fine-tuning mission parameters, and guiding the drone to new goals. When the operation is completed, the launch and recovery pilot assumes command and executes a precise drone recovery. 
Supporting the warfighter on the ground is absolutely our number one priority. Any mission that we can conduct to support them and keep them safe on the ground is fundamental to what we do. As with most aircraft, upgrades aren't too far into the future after initial delivery. And the RQ-4 is no exception when the RQ-4A is replaced by the RQ-4B. In November 2006, the A-model Global Hawk was replaced by the RQ-4B, which improved essential capabilities. Northrop Grumman extended the wingspan and length to 130.9 feet and 47.6 feet, respectively. Payload capacity increased to 3,000 pounds from the 2,000 pounds in the RQ-4A, allowing for more modern sensors. The universal payload adapter enabled the inclusion of numerous sensors. Fuel capacity increased to 17,300 pounds from 14,950 pounds in the leading edge extension. Strengthening the endurance component. While the RQ-4A could only fly for 24 hours, the RQ-4B could fly for 32 hours, which is a substantial operational advantage. These enhancements improved operational flexibility and mission efficiency. This uh, fine aircraft here uh, is slated to uh, leave the Air Force inventory. Uh, this is going to be the last combat sortie uh, of the RQ-4A. Then, there is the European UAV industry, which is becoming a major international player. Europe's drone evolution began in the 1960s with smaller systems, such as West Germany's CL-289 drone. However, it intensified after 2000, with notable developments in France, the United Kingdom, and Italy. Recent efforts, such as the UK's Tirana Stealth drone, France's Neuron, and larger ventures such as the Euromail Arpos demonstrate increasing autonomy and sophistication. One of their notable systems is the Skeldar. Saab's Skeldar V200, which has been in service since 2012, is a multi-role rotary unmanned aerial vehicle. It's intended for reconnaissance, surveillance, target acquisition, and electronic warfare. It has a five-hour endurance and a top speed of 140 kilometers per hour. And it can carry a 50-pound cargo for 93 miles. An outstanding feature of the Skeldar is its live crash avoidance system. The Skeldar V200 is equipped with this system, a critical component that reduces operational risks. The CAS depends on algorithms to identify potential threats in real time, allowing the drone to react spontaneously to avoid static or dynamic impediments. It improves flying safety greatly by enabling automated collision avoidance. The first successful test was carried out in Germany in October 2018. During the flight, the system flawlessly displayed its capability by avoiding various live hazards autonomously. The experiment not only validated the system's dependability, but also demonstrated Skeldar's ability to function in complicated and demanding conditions contributing to its possible acceptance by clients in a variety of global military applications.
One possible application is as a pirate detector or hunter. The Skeldar can provide comprehensive maritime surveillance with a maximum operational range of 93 miles and an endurance of five hours. Its multi-sensor payload capacity, which allows for electro-optical and infrared cameras, allows it to precisely detect, recognize, and identify targets. It can also carry synthetic aperture radar for high-resolution imagery, even during cloud cover or at night. The ability of the UAV to hover improves its stealth and stability when assessing suspect ships and allows it to conduct persistent surveillance over a specific area. Its strong data link provides the safe and real-time delivery of HD video and imagery back to the command station, supporting decision makers. Its automated capabilities, such as the Advanced Crash Prevention System, reduce crew workload while improving operational safety. Because of its simple yet effective design, the Skeldar V200 is more portable. The system may be quickly dismantled and reassembled with only two operators making it ideal for deployment in dynamic operating settings. The ground control station is both tough and mobile, built for quick deployments and effective drone system management. The GCS also supports real-time kinematic positioning with centimeter level precision, which is critical for accurate tasks. The Skeldar V200 is powered by an independent 55 horsepower heavy fuel engine, allowing it to operate in various climatic situations. It also provides a considerable operational advantage because gasoline is widely utilized in the military, eliminating the need for separate fuel logistics. The Rheinmetall KZO combat drone, primarily built for surveillance, Target acquisition, reconnaissance, and limited strikes is noteworthy in the European drone environment. The small German-engineered UAV has an operational range of roughly 100 miles and can stay in the air for around 3.5 hours for targeted close-range operations. Its payload comprises powerful optical, infrared, and radar sensing equipment for extensive data collection. With a cruising speed of 93 miles an hour and a portable ground control station, it provides quick reaction and operational convenience. The Rheinmetall RSG, a smaller quadcopter suicide drone, is an intriguing aspect of the KZO system. These semi-autonomous drones provide a considerable force multiplier for the KZO system. Tasked with both reconnaissance and strike missions, these drones provide real-time information and may autonomously neutralize threats, making them an invaluable addition to the Bundeswehr's arsenal. Transitioning from aerial to ground units, the Rheinmetall Mission Master Series impresses with its diverse capabilities. The Mission Master Series includes unmanned ground vehicles, Mission Master SP and Mission Master XT, both of which are tailored for a variety of mission scenarios. The Mission Master SP, developed in collaboration with ESG and Deal Defense, provides silent, undetected ISR heavy lifter capabilities. It enables discrete operations, which is very useful in complex urban terrains. The Escribano Guardian 2.0 remote weapon station was installed on the first Mission Master SP for fire support. Mission Master XT, which was introduced in 2021, is expressly intended for difficult terrain. The XT stands for Transport, 
ISR, and casualty evacuation operations. With a payload of 1,323 pounds and a top speed of 25 miles per hour. From the 1849 balloon attacks in the Austro Italian conflict to modern UAVs like the Global Hawk and Skeldar, drone technology has advanced significantly. The Global Hawk, which entered service in 1998, improved U.S. surveillance capabilities by providing high altitude, long range, all weather precision. Its crisp camera, 14,200 mile range and 32 hour endurance allowed it to identify microscopic objects worldwide. Skeldar, a European company in business since 2012, showcases its multi-role capabilities with live crash avoidance systems and possible anti-piracy applications. This UAV powerhouse together with Ryan Mittal's tactical KZO combat drone and the efficient Mission Master UGV series demonstrates the global spread and substantial improvement in military unmanned systems. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.